Baltimore has had first place in the AL East since July 22nd. The Rays just one game back entering tonight after winning the series opener last night. Seems like these two teams have been on a collision course all year long. Two weeks to go, it's up for grabs. Now before the game, what a ceremony. And what a job by this crowd to honor their favorite player for many years. Adam Jones officially retiring as an Oriole. So many highlight real plays in center field. Three-time Roberto Clemente Award nominee. Deeply embraced this community. Jack Flaherty in his 125th Major League start, but he has never faced the Rays before in his career. He's still seeking his first win since being traded to Baltimore. Swing and a miss, strike three. And Flaherty is off and rolling. Fanning Diaz. Well, he goes to the knuckle curve, so it's 80 miles an hour out of the hand. This is the pitch that gives Jack the biggest whiff. Says Lau strikes out. But they got good news on him. He's cleared to play. Two down to the first. Pointed out that the slider is no longer a pitch that he's going to use, especially to lefties. Here's a 92 mile an hour cut fastball. Starts outside, and then the late movement running back in. And Rosarina nubs it up the first baseline. Flaherty off the mound to field. Three up, three down for the Rays in the first as the Orioles get ready to come to bat in Baltimore. We touched on Eflin in the open. 29th start of the year, 14 wins tied for the lead in the American League. So Henderson digs in against Zach Eflin. And this one hopper gets into left field from Henderson to lead off the bottom of the first. Anthony Santander, the season he's put together. 37 doubles, 27 home runs, leads the team in both of those categories. Santander grounds this one to first. Diaz steps on the back for one and throws to second. Walls covering there for the double play. Well, the first five Rays retired in order. Here's Manuel Margot, his first appearance since coming off the injured list. Margot line drive, base hit in the left field up the line. Margot hustling around first, and he will be in at second with a stand-up double. Well, not bad for Margot. That ends up being his 17th double on the season. He's just hanging in there, and he gets a hanging curveball. And Walls pops it up. Right field, Santander is underneath it. And the Rays are retired in the second. Well, right now it's up to Zach Eflin to just match what Jack Flaherty's doing. Breaking ball called strike three. Back to back strikeouts for Zach Eflin to end the second and start the third. Swing and a miss. Got him with a good sinker, a change up away. And down on strikes Frazier. That's nine up and in essence nine down for Zach Eflin with one reaching on an error. Jack Flaherty facing Brandon Lau, the former Terp. Swing and a ball driven in the air to deep right center field. This has a chance. Mullins looks and it's long gone. The Rays are on the board. Brandon Lau, his 20th home run of the season, a bomb to right center. And the Rays are up 1-0 here in the fourth inning. Their league-leading 212th home run. We'll see how he responds after the homer, a 1-1 pitch. Rosarena with 22 home runs on the year. Hits one high and deep to left. That will be over the head of Hicks. And off the big wall in left, Rosarena loses his helmet as he sprints into second with a double back-to-back -back hits to begin the fourth off Flaherty. 17 doubles now for Randy, and they always say when the lights are the brightest, that's when Randy comes out to play. Manny Margot, who just came off the I.L. yesterday. Again, you got a chance to put up a crooked number. Line drive, base hit into left. Cut off by Hicks as they wave around a Rosarena. He scores easily. RBI single for Margot. A two-hit night in his return for Tampa Bay. And it's 2-0 Rays. Well, Kevin Cash talked about the importance of Margot being in the lineup, thinking that he has a chance to do something tonight. He already hit the curveball for a double, and this time it's a slider. And that'll be it after allowing back-to-back -back singles to Tampa Bay to begin the fifth. Puts the bullpen to work. And another short outing for Flaherty. Jacob Webb comes out of the bullpen to face Brandon Lau with two aboard, nobody out. Lau puts it in the air, left center, Mullins tracks it down, but that'll get a run home. So the closing speed of Cedric Mullins at least prevents that from being an extra base hit. But it's a sack fly for Brandon Lau, and it's 3-0 Tampa Bay. Oh, Randy Rosarena, I mean, he's looking for a five-figure death punch right here. <laughs> Rosarena hits it hard into the left center gap, down for a base hit. Diaz to third. As the throw comes to second, they may have a Rosarena who slides back to the back safely. 
Took a wide turn, but got back in time. Now, Aaron Hicks does a good job cutting it off. Goes directly to second base. Now, Adam Frazier and Ryan O'Hearn have a Rosarena dead to rights. They just waited a little bit too long. And as O'Hearn is moving forward to kind of cut down some of the real estate, Randy sneaks behind him. Brady's grounds one to third. Could be a double play ball. A little double clutch from Westberg to second for one. And they go around the horn to turn the 5-4-3 double play. Much needed for Baltimore. But the Rays tack on another run. Zach Eflin hasn't allowed a hit through four. Wow. O'Hearn way off balance the entire at bat. Strikeout number six for Eflin. Hicks is down on strikes. Four straight strikeouts for Eflin, and he continues to roll. Mullins, weak ground ball to second. Nothing doing for the Orioles batters tonight. Zach Eflin has been tremendous, and he's no hit the Orioles through five. Well, the Rays now have had leadoff base runners the last three innings. Then here's Manuel Margot, who's two for two tonight. In the air the other way, slicing towards the corner. That is trouble. Down for a base hit, and it one hops off the wall. Low around third. He will score on an RBI double for Margot. What a return for Manuel Margot. He has a three-hit night, including two extra base hits. Two runs driven in. It's 4-0 Tampa Bay. Ramirez is going to pinch hit, and he will pinch hit. The Rays looking to add now to a 4-0 lead in the sixth inning. Swing and a drive to deep left field. This is way back toward Baltimore, and gone! A big bat flip for Harold Ramirez. His three-run homer makes it 7-0 here in the sixth. Harold Ramirez pinch hitting for Luke Rayleigh. And he slams one in the left to blow it wide open for Tampa Bay. Zach Eflin is currently pitching a no-hitter. And they're hoping to get out of Eflin's way right now because they want to start tagging him up. Heston Kerstad will lead things off. He struck out to start the third. Heston Kerstad cranks one deep right for his first major league hit. A no-doubt tape measure shot. How about that for a first major league hit? And he breaks up. The Orioles have found some base runners. Pinch hitter here for Baltimore. And Austin Hayes, who comes off the bench. Ah, strikeout for Diekman, a big one. They get the first out here in the eighth. Swing and a miss. Fastball by him, strike three. So that's back-to-back -back strikeouts for Diekman after a walk and a hit. Diekman comes home, and he strikes out the side after allowing the first two to reach. Hayes, Westberg, Arias retired. We head to the ninth. Tampa Bay preserving a six-run lead. Assuming there's no crazy two-out rally here. This will be four losses in a row for the Orioles, which would tie a season-high losing streak. This one is drilled deep center field, but Margot is underneath it. And after getting kicked out of first place at the Trop in July, the Rays have returned the favor. Tampa Bay is now tied for first in the American League East. A 7-1 victory over Baltimore.